I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction. Here with your feeder flash for Wednesday, January the 16th, where the fat market loves a storm, and by gosh, we've got plenty of those. Uh, that last storm that come through here early in the week, we're just seeing how bad it really was. And I tell you what, uh, guys are saying, and not in one spot or two, but just all around from uh, southwest Kansas, uh, parts of Oklahoma, up into Nebraska, uh, over in uh, Missouri, Iowa, just almost anywhere you go throughout the Midwest, guys are saying that the lot conditions are the worst that they've ever remembered. And I uh, just, and I know that they, we say that every two or three years how bad it is, but uh, you know, talking to some guys here today, I just, uh, they were just saying, oh, you know how horrible it can get, you know, when the, when the slop starts coming in the tops of your muck boots, it's bad. Uh, when your horses get down in the mud, it's bad. Uh, you know, you've got cattle wallowing in it up to their bellies. And uh, and if you try to get in there to get one out, when it gets sick and doctor it, uh, uh, everybody's wore out by the time you get them to where some hospital facilities are. It's, it's just bad, you know, and cattle get bogged in there and they can't get up. Uh, and, and sometimes they end up dying in there if they get weak or they can't get to water or they can't get it to the bunk and, and it's just bad and a lot of your places just won't take any cattle so as much as this storm uh, is good for the fat cattle market it's that uh, much of a downer for your feeder cattle market because you just have so many holes that are plugged up with mud and guys just won't accept any cattle at any price and so you're just up again it when you get to that point and uh, what else can you do but let's look at the board for Tuesday February live cattle futures up a dollar 52 yeah I told you that this fat market loves a storm sitting at 126.95 so we know we're going to gain at least a buck or two this week on your fat cattle trade uh, April up 75 cents at 127.42 now again the rest of your uh, traded contracts were lower again. And look at the disparage between April and June. It's, uh, it's $10.37. Way down there, just over $117 compared to your April at $127.42. Wow. January feeder cattle down a dime, $144.75. March is exactly the same price at $144.75, up $0.35. Cents. So, there's uh, a good three months or more there that uh, we're expecting that uh, an 800 pound steer is worth exactly the same. But I'll guarantee you there'll be volatility in your feeder cattle market between now and then. But look at your fat trade, non-existent. I tell you what, guys are just dealing with so much mud and slop. The only place that it's not is down here in the Texas Panhandle. I mean, it's dry as a bone uh, down here uh, and all over the Panhandle and uh, eastern New Mexico is just dry as a bone and uh, in as wet and rank as that wheat was that wheat's starting to get dry now and uh, guys are thinking maybe they're overstocked on some wheat that was awfully rank when they pulled, a, pulled them on or put them on it and then uh, probably not gonna make it until March the 15th uh, when they like to pull them off or guys make you pull them off if they're thinking about making a crop or even a crop of hay off of that but uh, just uh, everywhere except for the Texas Panhandle, it's just a uh, struggle, struggle with the uh, wet conditions. But no fat cattle trade really to speak of at all so far this week. And, and we're expecting this fat trade to be quite a bit higher when we get to the end of the week. Uh, look at your uh, things, uh, your feeder cattle market, your real-time index sitting at 143.16 down another 43 cents and we talked on our visit uh, yesterday that uh, it just keeps dropping a little bit more a little bit more and, and just creeping lower and lower but steadily lower you look at some big sales uh, OKC West El Reno Oklahoma 5,000 head of calves on Tuesday uh, calves were mostly steady with uh, spots as much as two dollars higher on your long wean steers which that's kind of been the story here uh, all winter long on your calves there uh, in the southern plains but uh, pretty good calf sale there be interesting to see how many yearlings they have here on Wednesday at, at El Reno because uh, they were a little bit light last week because it was still wet around but I'm thinking that uh, around that area 
they can probably get some cattle out there in North Texas where they get a lot of cattle. They should be able to get some cattle out there. Uh, look over farther west. Stock show specials going on uh, in eastern Colorado and around, even up in the edge of, uh, of Nebraska, Wyoming places. I tell you that the National Western Stock Show in Denver is a big, big deal. And uh, I want to get sentimental here just for a little bit because I don't know if you guys all know it. But uh, this is the last time that the, the stockyards uh, are going to be the base, home base for the, the National Western. Uh, I know if you guys are like me, grew up going into Denver Stock Show and around and, and the old stockyards is just kind of cool, you know, that's where they had a lot of the, the, the breeding stock uh, tied up and, uh, you know, uh, sometimes I like to share some personal stories with you guys here. I feel like all of you are my friends. You know, when I was growing up as a kid, that was the highlight of our year. Uh, growing up in northeastern New Mexico was to get to go to Denver to the National Western and uh, Back in those days you could bring car lot cattle and sell them at, a, at an auction that they called the bell ringer which uh, Superior has taken on that name for their big video that they have during the National Western now, but uh, the bell ringer was a car lot uh, cattle sale for feeder cattle uh, we would take uh, uh, calves up there every year uh, we'd start getting uh, calves and we uh, we got all of our calves out of Jackson, Mississippi. Bill Ross Cattle Company at that time was a big order buying outfit that, that we partnered with and uh, would send us load after load of black and black baldy heifer calves, lightweights, you know, weighing in the twos and threes. And, uh, and we would spend all uh, late fall and early winter uh, sorting those up and getting them sized and just perfect where we'd have three pot loads of... Uh, of uh, stalker heifer calves all black black baldy up there with our brand on them and uh and it was a big deal to me as a young kid in the late 70s early 80s uh you know we'd have have three big shiny pots pull up laverne jenkins trucking out of campo colorado and uh he'd back up there and then he'd nose to tail all the way to denver and we'd be right behind him and and it was a big thrill uh to me as a kid uh, you see some of these pictures I'm showing you there. Uh, I think this uh, particular year I must have been too small to go, but my, my dad, my mother, and my older sister were all there. And and, uh, and when we bring those three loads of light heifer calves in there, it'd be kind of a big deal. And, and it always tickled my dad when we'd be bedding those cattle down with the straw and, and overhearing people up on the catwalk and saying, damn, I wonder how many cows he's got to have that many heifer calves that even and if we never had a, a cow on the place they'd have never dreamed those those calves come out of somebody's backyard in Jackson Mississippi but, but that was always a fun time in my life and the clo the tearing down of the yards is just the end of an era really you know you know on the hill in the yards and uh, I don't think it's ever going to be the same they're, they're moving everything uh, to another piece of property have just north of where they've been before and going to be building a lot of new facilities which is great but it's just not going to be the same when you don't have the old stockyards there you know my, my granddad used to send cattle into Denver you know on the railheads and into Denver he had all the bullet pencils and the, and the pads and everything from when he'd go up there and, and see how they sold and and just a lot of nostalgia a lot of history around the old stockyards and I collect a lot of stockyard memorabilia I know a lot of you guys do too and you just hate to see another one of them go down but uh, this is kind of the last hoorah for uh, the National Western at the old stockyards in Denver but they are having stock show specials at most of the sale barns all around there winter livestock in Lahana, Colorado no exception huge sale on Tuesday uh, nearly 8,000 head of cattle when I pulled this report off of Cattle Market Central on Tuesday evening there but uh, just a big big sale uh, it didn't have any report out but Cattle Market Central it looked like most of your popular calf weights were sure two to four dollars lower which is as absolutely expected but uh, look at this uh, market report here on Cattle Market Central let's look at some of these heavy tested weights on the steers 810 pounds up 810 head of five weight steer calves average 556 at 162.78 
and um, this is what the market is guys you get that many cattle and they've got buyers that come there every year they know when the stock show specials are consigners waiting for that sale and buyers waiting to do it weren't expecting the mud this year but 979 had a six weight steers average 652 at 146.68 766 had a seven weight steers weight 757 on the average and average 138.41 on the heifers, over a thousand and thirty five weight heifer calves, average five hundred and forty nine pounds at one forty three oh eight on the weighted average, and six hundred and sixty eight six weight heifer calves, average six forty five at one thirty five forty four at Winter Live in Lahana, Colorado. Uh, look at some other individual quotes. The market's better when you get up north of where these storms have been coming across. We've been talking about these El Nino storms are coming uh, closer down in towards the southern plains and uh, a lot of your places that, that normally have the bad weather uh, up in northern Nebraska, South Dakota, places like that where they don't even think nothing about having big snowstorms come across. They've been having a real mild winter and that's where your best demand is coming from up in there. But uh, look at some of these quotes on different weights here. Gordon, Nebraska, Gordon Livestock Market there, 87 head of 489 pound steers bring $199. Uh, Glacial Lakes Livestock, Watertown, South Dakota, 62 head of 616 pound steers bring $169.75. Very impressive quote there. And Loop City, Nebraska, Loop City Commission Company, 80 head of 851 pound steers bring 146 and a quarter. And that's your feeder flash for Wednesday.